recently had that what can I do with my hair next feeling, then maybe the following few minutes are for you. Since the early 80s, we've flirted with a whole range of hairstyles, from bleached white flat tops to monofiber extensions. The choice has never been wider. But what about it? What about no hair at all? What would it take to make you do it? Um, I fancy doing it, and I thought, I'm getting older, and if I don't do it now, I'll never do it. So I just got shorter and shorter with my haircuts. I haven't really thought about my head shape because people say, oh, I couldn't do it because my head shape. Didn't think about that, just thought, right, you know, and it just feels so clean and it feels so wonderful. When you shave your scalp, you should make sure that you're going with the grain. Don't go against the grain, otherwise you'll find that the skin will tear or will make blemishes and become very sore. How can you tell which way is the right way? Where, how can you tell which way is the right, the you'll, grain? You'll feel that. You'll feel that if you're going against the grain, the, the razor will be reluctant to move. It will feel very rough surfaced. The maintenance is obviously a mild shampoo and a moisture cream, uh, some sort of barrier if you're using makeup, you know, just to generally sort of keep the scalp healthy. Since early body map days, a whole host of women have shaved their heads, and the recent mass media exposure of beauties like Sinead O'Connor and Caroline Buckley of the Banderas has popularised what is essentially an African tribal look. I think people are often quite surprised that I seem quite normal and, and maybe quite nice, you know, and they, you know, they either say, oh, I didn't expect you to be like that. Do you think your look can be intimidating? I think so to a certain extent, but I'm sure more to men than to women because an awful lot of women and an awful lot of older women who sort of say, you know, if I you know, if I was younger then I would like to have it done myself. <laughs> And if you do decide to take the plunge and cut off those precious curls, there are plenty of ways you can dress your head. Uh, I use double-sided sticky tape. I've tried other things, um, but they just don't work as well. But double-sided sticky tape seems to really stick. What about getting them off again? Uh, just a good yank, and uh, they seem to come off OK. <laughs> I suppose the minor side is having to run as fast as you can <laughs> when you chase down the street. And the plus side is, for some reason, a, a lot of middle-aged women seem to really like it. And uh, I get invited out for tea and stuff. Do you feel it compromises your femininity in any way? No, no. I, I mean, I'm... I'm not very girly girly to begin with, you know, and I, I, it goes well with what I wear. It goes well with my wardrobe. I can get away with it. What would you say to other women who think that they would like to try it, but they really are very nervous about go it? Go for it. Absolutely go for it. Because, I mean, you know, hair, my hair grows um, an inch within two or three weeks. So, you know, and you can always find wigs, but it is just really is a brilliant experience.